Moving on to differentiation, so differentiation is the term used to describe when cells become specialised, so for example when they become nerve cells. A stem cell is a cell which has the ability to divide many times whilst remaining unspecialised, undifferentiated. There are two types of animal stem cell you need to be aware of, the first one is embryonic, the second one is the adult stem cell. As the name suggests, embryonic stem cells are found in embryos, particularly the early stage of development of embryos, they have the ability to differentiate or specialize into any cell types so immediately you can see the added advantages of an embryonic stem cell it can become any type of cell you want for example a bone cell a hair cell a nerve cell a muscle cell moving on to adult stem cells they're found in very specific places namely the bone marrow the skin and the lining of the small intestine Although they have the ability, like all stem cells, to divide many times, unfortunately they can only become one specific type of cell. So for example, stem cells found in the bone marrow can only become blood cells. Stem cells have lots of uses in the treatment of disease, and this is known as stem cell therapy. A good example of stem cell therapy is in the treatment of leukemia, which is a type of blood cancer. So when the person is treated with both chemotherapy and radiotherapy, you find that both the cancerous cells and healthy cells are destroyed. So that's great, you've removed the cancer, but a person obviously really needs their white blood cells. So stem cell therapy involves introducing stem cells which are able to replicate and differentiate in order to replace those lost cells. Parkinson's disease is another good example of a disease that can be treated using stem cell therapy. In Parkinson's disease, nerve cells are destroyed, so it therefore makes sense that stem cells can be used to replace those damaged nerve cells. Ideally speaking, you'd use a person's own stem cells in stem cell therapy. The advantage here is that they're readily available. You have a complete tissue match, which means no chance of rejection by your own cells. And from an ethical point of view, it's great because there's no need to use embryonic stem cells. So if we consider the ethics now associated with embryonic stem cells, these have to come from aborted or miscarried fetuses. So obviously huge ethical concerns there. But the advantage of embryonic stem cells, as I've already pointed out, is their ability to specialize into any cell type. This puts them at a massive advantage compared with an adult stem cell, where I've already said there's only very specific places where you find adult stem cells. So this is why when people have horse riding accidents and they paralyze themselves from the neck down, you tend to find they remain paralyzed for life. And that's because you don't have stem cells in your spine. However, embryonic stem cell therapy is a way of potentially making more nerve cells in order to repair those damaged nerves in your spine. And I'm just going to drop a table from my revision guide into this video so you can look at the various advantages and disadvantages associated with the use of stem cells.